How's it everyone? This is Lokahol, and in today's video we're going to be making a helmet for the Cast and Crit Fireball Nimis build from Palseron. The modifiers we're going to be looking for on this are going to be Deafening Essence of Loathing for the increased mana reservation efficiency of skills, Spell Suppression, Resistance, plus two level of AoE gems, and then probably just Benched Life or something like that. So to get started, we're going to be using this Deafening Essence of Loathing and we're going to keep doing it until we see spell suppression. Tier 1. Nothing, nothing less than tier 1. I believe you need item level 85 to hit that tier 1. Oof. This is almost perfect, but not quite. And I don't know what the odds are. I think it's like a 1 in 70 or something, but I'd need to check again. Another way we could approach this would be to get some kind of fracture on it. So maybe if we see mana reservation efficiency, tier one life and a good resistance or something, we can hit it with a, a fracturing orb just to see, maybe. There's tier five. Tier three. Ooh. So something like this actually could be a really good fracture opportunity. I think, hmm, I think let's actually go for it. Let's see if we can first see annul off a prefix. We did. This is begging to be fractured. It has four good mods. Well, the rarity isn't maybe that good because if you're doing a, an int helm, then what you want to do is fracture the prefix rarity. But let's see. Hoping to fracture the reservation. We got the life. Okay, honestly, not that bad. I, th I think that's worth keeping. Tier 1 life, 97 life, and now we're just going to keep going with the with the loathing until we see that suppression. So I wouldn't have done that if I only had two mods, but the fact that I had three meant that we had a very high chance of success. Tier 1, but rarity. Final suffix. Ah. Uh... Well... We are not going to stick with crappy rarity, so we have to go for the Sinol, and we have failed. Goodbye, tier 1 spell suppression. Maybe in another lifetime. I think something else that could be good would be an attribute, but I'm not sure. Once again, I am crafting for a build that I am going to play, but do not know much about. So, <laughs> there's tier 4. Tier 2. Mm, nope. Tier 1. Ooh, and Cold Resistance. I think, you know what? That Cold Resistance is actually pretty decent. If, if it's not enough, what we can do is always just go for... Like, fill, filling in the extra bit of resistance with jewels. But I think we should be good with that. It's Tier 4, and worst case scenario, we can always recraft... So now we need to clean up a prefix. So we're going to apply red influence like this, dunk, and then we can annul off a prefix safely like that. Now, now we need to go spend a whole lot of currency. Well, maybe not. We'll see. We're going to go lock suffixes. So we're using wild bristle matron, super duper easy. We're going to go metacraft, and it's going to add a metacraft. Watch my other videos. I explain it. Suffixes cannot be changed. Now we're gonna... Oh, that's so loud. Veiled Chaos. Go back to the hideout. And now we are looking to unveil plus two AoE gems. So what we block on helmets, this has the highest weight, I believe it's 2,000. We block that. Take it to Jern. Salah. And... Oh, first time. I, I have profit crafted these helms in the past where I bought a base with good suffixes and then finished the prefixes. And sometimes it took me like 14 attempts to get plus two AOE. So, amazing. And now we have an open prefix. So, without tier one life, I mean, we can craft whatever we want. There's these things and these things. Once I've actually played the build and know the build, we can decide what it is. So for now, we can just go with maybe a bit more life. Something like evasion and life. There we go. 2016. So, 
Here's our helmet. Let's give it a bit of a price check. It's actually, you know what? It's not done. It's not done. We need to get those implicits. So let's quickly do that. And these, these could be interesting. So we want reservation, which we're not going to be able to highlight, but we want reservation as one of our implicits. We may have to buy more of these unless we get lucky. All right, back to the trade site we go to buy some of the blue juice. There we go, there's a reservation efficiency. And now we're gonna use this exceptional ember. So that's gonna be a higher tier than our red one. And then we're gonna use the orb of conflict, which gives us a higher chance of upping the tier of the lower tier one. It went down. We can use another one. Up, there we go, up to 10. Now we can do this again for another 50-50 and try and get that up. Nope, it went down, back up. There we go, 11. I don't think we're gonna go for 12. Should we go for 12? Nah, I think this is good. And then our other prefix, I think, is gonna be critical strike chance. Let's just have a quick look and see what other builds are using. Once again, local hole, not prepared. Oh no, worst. Okay, let's let's actually, what we can do is price check it and then see what similar ones have. So let's just put this at 70 life because a lot of people are gonna bench life. AOE gems, reservation efficiency, suppression, and then the implicit. There is one, and it's listed for 40 divine orbs. And okay, it is crit chance for spells. So they started with the fracture. They have intelligence, which may be something that I actually need, but don't realize yet. And they've got benched life. So ours possibly better, although this third suffix might actually be much more impactful than I realize. And they've gone for the crit chance for spells. So ours probably worth about 40, did not cost that much to make. Let's get the crit chance for spells. I only have these ones, so probably should have bought some. All right, let's uh, let's stick with not that. There we go. It's done. It's beautiful. Look at this little helmet. So it's done. We've given it a price check. Tier one life fractured, plus two AOE unveiled on the first attempt. Thank goodness. Crafted, hybrid life, energy shield, evasion rating, mana reservation efficiency, tier one spell suppression, and pretty crap cold res. If I decide to go back and finish this, I can, but I'm pretty happy with this for now. So, in the next video, I need to decide if we're going to keep going, because there are certain boots for this build that I have been making an absolute killing crafting and i'm a bit cautious about sharing it yet because the moment i share it it's going to be a dead profit craft and i know there are people that would be sad about it i am one of those people so we'll see maybe maybe the next video is going to be crafting the boots for this build but we'll see anyway hopefully you enjoyed have a wonderful day stay safe and i'll catch you in the next video Bye bye